changes to AR670-1 grooming and appearance. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Happy Fresh Productions. If you're new, go ahead, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, leave some comments down below. Um, it's always cool to see your guys' feedback. Um, but uh, if you're not new to if you're not new to the channel, uh, it's been about five months since I put out a video. I just went through a huge uh, transition in my life. Overseas PCS. I'm no longer at Fort Leonard Wood. Um, I moved to South Korea, Camp Humphreys. And uh, I'm leaving on post with my family. This is my place for now. Let me show you outside. Uh, it's pretty cold right now. But there's Korea, South Korea. And these are the towers on post. Pretty cool. Um, but anyway, really big announcement just happened today. Uh, it changes to AR670-1. And uh, I just wanted to do a video and go over some of these changes. I just, the straight bluff, um, you know, what, what are these changes that, uh, that are about to happen? And um, before I get started, since I came back, um, I wanted to do a giveaway. So um, if you want to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is, within the comments below, just uh, comment hashtag HRF Pro. And... Uh, Giving away this high-speed hat, U.S. Army, and uh, this is for one lucky viewer. And then uh, this high-speed Under Armour kind of, uh, you know, you could put water or whatever jug. Um, pretty cool. So, um, hat, jug. If you want to enter, just go ahead in the comments. Uh, just you know, put hashtag HR Pro, and uh, I'll do a drawing probably about a week for now of uh, who participated, and then I'll reply back, "Hey, you won," and um, you know, I get your mailing address or whatever. All right, so changes to AR six seventy one. Huge announcement! It just happened today. Uh, Sergeant Major of the Army Grinston he conducted a Facebook town hall live. Um, where they were talking about uh, a lot of the new updates and stuff that's about to happen. And uh, if you're a male, I'm just going to tell you straight up what we got. Uh, you know, just cut to the chase. So if you're a male, this is what we got. Are you ready? We can now wear clear nail polish and... We can wear highlights in our hair. I feel like I got an avocado for Christmas. <laughs> so when it comes to grooming males, that's what we got. Um, even though we were hoping that beards would be a part of this announcement, it didn't happen. Um, Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major of the Army, he, he kind of uh, echoed quite a few times that the changes with the females, they wanted females to, um, you know, look and feel more like females. Well, you know, I, I want to feel, I want to look and feel like a man. I want a beard. Um, you know, Chuck Norris, Kimball Slice, Morgan Freeman, you know, <laughs> I want a beard. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got. Uh, but if you're a female... It is a, a huge win for you. There's a lot of changes coming your way. Um, and for me to cover those changes, I'm going to switch to Steam Labs because um, there's a lot of pictures and the verbiage um, that I want to show you. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, so like I said, major win for females. A lot of changes coming their way. Not so much for males. Um, you know, we all knew what we wanted, uh, but didn't really uh, materialize. Uh, but anyway, there's a couple of things I want to show you before I get into the meat and potatoes of changes with the females. So, uh, first thing is this, this is the video that was uploaded today on Facebook 
and uh, YouTube. I'll take this link and I'll drop it in my description box below in case you want to see it. But this is the actual was. video what of Sergeant Major of the Army and his panel talking about the uh, grooming standards and to, changes to AR-670-1 you know, uh, if you want to see it for yourself. Uh, next thing I want to show you is, in case you haven't noticed, if you go to Army Pubs and you can actually, they've already uploaded the Army regulations so you can see it in black and white, um, the actual verbiage. Um, let me find it for you, but you have to be careful though because they have the, they still have the old one. Yeah, so this is the one that you want. Uh, this is the old one, so you can go ahead and download it. Let's check it out. Uh, there it is. Uh, that's today's date, brand new. Um, I know SMA was mentioning that even though this came out today, he's going to give units or he's going to give Big Army about 30 days to catch up on the reg before we start enforcing uh, these new changes. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, in black and white because I know a lot of leaders they like to they like to see the rig. Uh, All right, guys. So moving on from the actual AR itself, um, this is uh, pretty much a snapshot of these major changes going on in the AR and DA PAM um, that uh, are taking place now. Implements policy for the uh, Army Green Service uniform. Uh, I mean, we knew that was coming. Um, so the combat, so the so the actual combat sleeve has a new name. It's military operations and hostile conditions. Uh, more badges are coming out. Expert soldier badge, the uh, master gunnery badge. Let me zoom in on this stuff. Uh, and then the horseman badge right there. Uh, and I'm not actually sure how to get the horseman badge. Yeah. Um, blah, 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 established guidance for the the okay. uh, SFAB. Uh, so soldiers assigned to SFAB, which is Security Forces Assistance Brigade. Um, they now they can now wear this brown brown beret. Uh, imp implements the hot weather combat uniform as a authorized item. Authorized female soldiers who are breastfeeding or pumping to wear an optional shirt, and the shirt is, it looks like it's right here. Um, so, uh, put, put, put right there. Yeah, there's a lot of changes, a lot of changes with the, with the females. Uh, removes reference. Um, yeah, they're just, they're just getting with the times and taking out um, UCP and adding OCP or whatever. Uh, but for the females, let's see what they got. What else? Another big win is the uh, earrings. Earrings for females. Um, I didn't really catch what type of earrings uh, females can wear. Um, I did hear that the pearl uh, earrings uh, are authorized for ASUs, but not in uh, not in regular, uh, uh, you know, your regular uh, OCP pattern and uh, so they can wear earrings but not in a tactical environment or um, you know field training environment so just in garrison females wearing earrings uh, medium hair buh, 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 buh. oh hair length for female soldiers uh, panel in, in favor of recommendation and want to ensure female soldiers may taper the hair as a part of the hair as an option. Um, another big win for females is um, having multiple hairstyles. Um, like as you can see here, there's a you know a side braid coming down. Um, such as two hairstyles may be worn at once. For an example, locks or twists can be braided or twisted to the scalp. Big win for females. Uh, more stuff about, oh yeah, short ponytails. Um, so uh, to add that some females are unable to create a bun due to, yes. Uh, 
So if the female's hair is just too short and they can't create a bun, um, they can have this short ponytail. But the long ponytail, we already talked about this, kind of tucking in as they're in their combat uniform. Panels in favor recommendation as a long, long as the hair is secure inside of the ACU top while conducting tactical training or combat operations. Yep, here's a picture right there. And, uh, you know, this really does make sense because when females, when I was a drill sergeant, uh, females at the range, whenever they uh, would wear the helmet and they their bun would stick out right here. And as they're in the prone, it, it pushes it pushes up on the helmet and their helmet comes down. It's just, it's very uncomfortable for the females. Um, so I can really see this working in their favor as they're at the range. Uh, highlights, males and females can get highlights. Um, like I said, natural colors, nothing extreme. Uh, Another big win is uh, females uh, lipstick, nail, and polish. Females will not wear shades of lipstick that are extreme or and present or present a professional uh, appearance. Yeah, so these are examples. So nothing, uh, you know, no f really outrageous colors. I guess that's what they're saying. Um, I guess this is a picture of a male with clear, clear nail polish. Let me see. Yeah. That's a strong hand. Um, just some, uh, so within the AR itself, they've removed a couple of words that they, uh, I guess they kind of deemed that was offensive. Uh, the Fu, Fu Manju or the, the Mohawk, um, dreadlocks, those words are uh, removed from the Army regulation. And let me read this right quick. Discretion of the commander and professional are a subjective phase and term, but can be mitigated through education of the regulation, visual representation, color swatch, okay. All right. Yeah. So they removed some of the wording. And uh, they talked about this at the panel, but they are going to uh, take some more photos of the, uh, you know, hair that's authorized, haircuts, um, this is what they got so far. So I guess this is an example of all the natural colors, um, different types of hair. Uh, all right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Um, I didn't want to take too long. I just wanted to cover, uh, summarize the changes that are going on uh, with AR670-1, wearing the pairs of the uniform and grooming standards. Um, like I said, really big win for females. Uh, there's even more stuff going on right now, like President Biden just announced transgenders can serve in the military. I really want to know how you feel about that, so put it in the comments down below. Uh, and also, you know, what do you think about these changes? Um, are we going in the right direction? Um, is this something we should have done a long time ago? Um, and uh, don't forget to uh, enter in the contest, the giveaway contest uh, for the hats and the Under Armour water jug. All you have to do is uh, comment hashtag HRF Pro, which you can also find me on Instagram. But other than that, guys, I will see you later. Good night.